Hey everyone. So I just wanted to take a few minutes to tell you guys how I made my first dollars as an affiliate marketer using this simple platform that really does get you traffic instantly. And I know you've probably been hearing that paid advertising is dead. And while that may be the case for some niches, some offers, some products, that's certainly not the case for all of them. That being said, I'll tell you about an approach to using this site I'm about to show you that will save you time and money and help you validate your offers quickly. So stick around because I want to show you the simple technique I use to A, start getting leads and building my email list simultaneously within minutes, and B, I made my first sale within a few hours after months of trying affiliate marketing. Hey everyone, this is the Tech Agitator here. Thank you for tuning back into the channel. I trust that you will find some value in this video. So we'll get started. So I started seriously doing affiliate marketing, I think towards the end of last summer, 2023, around August, I'd say. I started building out my blog and trying different affiliate products, but was getting nowhere fast. But in December, I saw this YouTube video where a guy promoted this particular website I'm about to show you. I'd watched several of his tactics for making money online. And with this particular video, this technique resonated with me for some reason. So I said to myself, I'm going to follow all of your instructions to the letter. And if this doesn't get results, I'm unsubscribing from your channel and I'm never watching your channel again. So I did just that. Was pleasantly surprised. I did it and I have to admit I got instant results. But I put my own spin on things that I believe also contribute to my success. And I'll tell you about that. So the site you're looking at, what's up on your screen here is called trafficzest.com. It's a pretty straightforward and simple site to use. If you've never heard of it, it is a, a, a platform. While it's free to join, it is paid marketing. But don't let that scare you. If you already have a landing page or a website to where you want to drive traffic, then that's already half the battle. So I'm just going to take you to the back end of the platform here so you can see how simple it really is. So if you're looking at the screen here, these are a couple of offers I'm promoting and we'll get into that in a minute. And if you see like December, I just put the calendar for December 1st because like I said, I started this sometime in December. And as you see here, this billionaire brain wave product is where um, I've gotten the most traffic and that's where I made the most sales. And I'm going to show you why I think that is in just a few minutes. But I wanted to show you the back end of the platform and how to add a new campaign just to show you how quick it is for you to test the product and validate a niche and and let me tell you why that's important what i discover here is you'll see that i've tried several products you'll you, you can see them on the screen there but what i realize is in trying them what i like about this particular platform is that the i don't know if they're influencers if they're just people who have a large social media following i will say there is like a kind of behind the scenes things that I don't know everything about, but the site did what I needed to do. So what I encourage you to do if you want to try this is put in a little bit of money. If you want to test out one, two, three, or whatever, however many products you want to do, you want to start with a few that you've been thinking about on like your ClickBanks, your uh, Digistore 24. My particular offer was a Digistore 24 offer. Um, just to test it out because the way the site works is they'll pick up your ad and start pushing it out immediately you will be able to see real live metrics i i.e I, you know how much your cost per click is how many clicks you're getting 
And if you're using a site like GetResponse, which I also use, you will be able to track those metrics and see how much traffic you're getting, see who's signing up, opting into your offers, that sort of thing. But we'll talk a little bit more about that. I didn't want this video to be too long, so it's already getting to the five minute mark. I will do another video to show you exactly how I set up my get response campaign using AI and built a landing page quickly to drive this traffic to. So anyway, we'll get into that in a second. We're on the back end of the trafficzest.com platform. Just want to show you how easy it is to create a campaign. So, and actually, let me go back because I'm getting ahead of myself. All I'm going to do here is click on add new campaign, right? It takes you this, to this page. And when you're putting in your campaign name, of course, you want that to be something that you're going to remember. Usually it's going to relate to the offer that you're promoting. So, you know, let's just say energy boost, just putting something in here, energy boost. Well, I'm not going to do that. Let's just call it make money with my new robot, right? That's your product. You put your, I recommend you put your name here of the, of the offer that you're doing just so you can keep track of it yourself. Destination URL, that's where if you have a landing page, a website that you want to drive traffic to, that's what's going to go into this destination URL. That's really important. When you get to scheduling, you can hit the button to start your campaign. Now you can choose to do that with no end date, which means that the ad will run continuously. That's personal preference, or you can schedule the start just by obviously clicking on schedule to start. It's going to take you to the latest date and you just click, you know, if you want to start on, let's say Valentine's Day, you want to start on Valentine's Day, you want to end it, I don't know, Saturday, you want to run a week, you want it to run a couple of days. You have control over when you want to start your offer and how long do you want that offer to run. All right. Um, and over here to the right of the screen, it's telling you everything that's happening as you're doing it. Campaign will start now. If we want to activate the campaign but we'll get to that in a second now it comes to targeting allowed traffic now this is one thing i will tell you right now this platform is only operating in a few verticals that's the make money online niche the weight loss niche and the health niche i tried running a product in the health niche set up funding no one picked that up it wasn't getting promoted they just weren't pushing that offer. But the make money online products I put on there, that's the product category. So if you are thinking about using this platform, I will say if you're offering a product to help people make money online, that's one thing. But also this same category work for money mindset, wealth building, like that billionaire brainwave product things that people want to use to change their mindset, to get them into a, a, a wealth attraction mindset. I believe that those kind of offer, that's, that's the offer I had that was the most successful and we'll talk about it. So anyway, I recommend the Make Money Online niche I because I know this platform is immediately pushing out those offers. I haven't tried the weight loss. So if you want to try a weight loss product in here, you can definitely give that a try. But what I do know, like I said, is the make money online one does work. All right. So traffic providers, this is where you can select from their, the, this is their list of people that they have pushing out your product, offering your products to their community, if you will. You can select whatever country you want to do your, want your ass to show up in. Um, you can keep them all or you can select one. I think I just did United States and Canada for me personally, but if you scroll down here, obviously you can choose whatever country or countries you'd like to promote in. And I will say that, you know, the more you, the more parameters you put into this area, um, the, the small, the smaller your audience is. And so again, of course, that goes down to personal, personal preference. If you want to just target a certain sector, you can do that. If you want to open it up to the world, you can do that. There's pros and cons to either of those. 
it boils down to your marketing strategy. Um, device types, you know, whether you want it to show up, your offers to show up on desktop, smartphone, tablet, you have the ability to choose those as well. Um, I pre I left all this open. I'm going to tell you the only thing I did was cho choose the vertical, which was make money online. Um, I left the traffic providers open because I don't, I, I didn't know, you know, who to choose, who was best, who was going to be good work. And that's another thing we can talk about later. Device types, you know, if you, if, for I think this is important because like if you your own website and you know that website doesn't show up well on, is, is not optimized to show up on mobile devices and desktop, then you might want to just make it so your offer is only featured in desktops, right? But if you know you have a site or whatever you're pushing them to and it's optimized for mobile devices and desktop, obviously leave that open, right? Um, device operating systems, if you want to just target Mac users, Windows, iOS, all that, I don't touch that stuff. Of course, you want your you want your offer to be seen by as many people as possible. But maybe there are reasons for people to, you know, choose some of these in particular. So that's up to you. Traffic tags. I left all that stuff blank. I mean, I guess you can decide. You know, you can decide if you want to track funnel clicks or Facebook ads. That's pretty much telling the marketers how and where to push your products. I like to leave things open. And as you do more research, as you test out more products, you get more feedback. Maybe you will want to dive into some of these um, parameters and change them, all right? Next part we're gonna go to super important here is the budget. You can set your cost per click here. I believe it can go down as far as like 30 cents, I believe. And it's up to, of course, as much as you want to. So um if you aren't sure about how you know where you should set your your bid at i well i won't give it get into giving numbers but for me i thought i think i started out with like 50 cents just to see if you know there was going to be traction or whatever i think i even took it down as far as 35 cents for one of my offers and it still did okay so that's an opportunity for you to decide you know, basically how much you want to spend. So if you want to do like 50 cents per click, we'll just put that in here. You can set a total budget, meaning for this entire campaign, you only want to spend $200 or whatever. For example, you put that $200 in here, put it, put whatever, put whatever that figure is. And once your traffic budget reaches that number, your campaign will cut off or you can set a daily budget. Let's say you want your budget to be $25 a day. That means at 50 cents per click, once it runs up to that $25, it'll stop the campaign um, until the next day. And if you set it to run, run continuously, it'll just keep on, you know, um, putting taking that $25 a day up until you stop it, right? And then there's the daily budget distribution, which is smooth. Daily budget smoothly distributed, accelerated, spend the daily budget as fast as possible. I personally like smooth because you have people coming onto whatever platform they're using to promote your offers at different times of the day. And we have different time zones and you don't want your money eating up like in an instant. Like who wants to spend their daily budget as fast as possible? Yes, it's going to push it out to a lot more people in the beginning. Um, but I just don't think you get quality traffic that way. But again, that's another thing that boils down to personal opinion. I just wanted to show you the ease of use of this platform. Um, and if you come over here to the campaign summary, it's keeping a, a, a tally of everything that you've been doing. Um, of course, each new campaign start is paused until you activate it. Campaign will run nonstop because I did not choose a end date. But if I come here to start now and you know i want the campaign to end on friday boom you'll see campaign will stop in two days you are targeting the people who are in the make money align niche your total budget for this campaign is unlimited with the maximum spend of 25 dollars. so you'll get to see everything you're putting i recommend reading through this before and make sure all your campaign campaign parameters are set up the way you want them to so that you can um 
and make sure everything is good to go and you don't mistakenly put in no end date and come back in a couple of weeks and wonder why you spent hundreds of dollars, which I almost did once. So based on your current targeting, there are 6,026 clicks available and that's just based on the amount of money, the, the amount of your budget you're allotting to this ad. Um, and it's telling you, you know, with your current max cost per click bid, which means like that 50 cents you put in. So if I put in like it's estimating this, these are all estimates that you could get up to 2,097 clicks per day. So if I was to go and change that number to a dollar, you can see then you can get up to 5,000 clicks per day. Once we think about this platform, I think for me, I, I think I only started with one or 200 books. And I, like I said, I did set my initial bid to, I think I was a little overzealous because I didn't know what the hell I was doing at the beginning. I think I set mine for 70 cents. And um, I didn't set a daily budget. I just set like an overall budget for the whole campaign. And um, so $70, 70 cents. And you know, you can get 4,150 clicks a day. But anyway, so that's how you set up a campaign. That's how super easy it is. But one thing I wanted to show you too, a little hack I use and what I found just in general when it comes to Digistore products is I like to filter for, you know, a lot of people look by, you know, it's popular in products. Set this to finish here. I like to look for the newest what's the latest and greatest right because the new stuff it isn't all saturated all the other marketers don't know about it yet um so i think you have a better chance so i just go to search by publication date and it'll give you all the newest stuff so you can pick through it um based on your uh area that you want to work I found a lot of success with that for me personally when it comes to digital store. And I won't even talk about ClickBank and the whole um, uh, authority rating, whatever they call that metric. We can talk about that another time. But go in, find the new product, something that's relevant, current, that's only been on the market for a while. You can see the, for a little while, you can see the publication date. At least that's what worked for me in this strategy. But guys, what I mentioned before is, that's the hack I use. Find something new, find something that's really not all that saturated. But on the other end of that, if you have a product or a list of products, you've probably bookmarked or you're thinking about testing, you have something on from another platform, I think Traffic Zest is a good place to test that out because you'll get immediate feedback. If the people are going like to like I have a landing page set up where they have to opt in to see the sales page. If you have a lot of people going to your landing page, but they're not opting in, that tells you you might need to sweep your landing page. If you have a lot of people opting to your landing page and then they go to watch the, the sales page or they go to your sales page and they're not buying, that's quick feedback for you to say, okay, no, this offer sucks or it's just not working on this platform. Anyway, the bottom line is I think this is a quick way for you to test different products because I tested four or five. We'll go back over here. I believe I tested four or five different products. Just start that. And you'll see like I did this e-farming challenge one. I did this modern affiliate marketing strategies one. No, I got traffic from all of these, but no sales. The only other sale I got Aside from this billionaire brainwave was affiliate one. And that was like one sale after a couple of days with billionaire brainwave guys. I set up my, I think I finished setting up my landing page, got everything set up maybe about 12, 12, 15, literally at 12 30. I just decided to come back to this platform just to hit refresh and see. And I saw that, you know, I was already getting clicks. It was, show, it was showing me my running cost per click and it was showing me how much I had already spent. This was like at midnight. And I'll tell you, it was like on a Thursday night. I woke up Friday morning to that sweet sound of the Digistore chime telling me I made a sale. 
And it was that billionaire brainwave. That was what woke me up that morning. And then I got a few more sales that day over the course of that weekend. So it allowed me to quickly see which products were working, what type of things were working. So that's how I recommend you use this product, um, use this platform, you know, take you a little budget. I think the minimum that you could put in here is like a hundred bucks. You see, I only got 99 bucks in there now. Um, it's a quick way for you to test interesting offers. And if you find that you're getting a gate engagement via this platform, then you can market it to whatever, whatever other platforms you're doing. You can put more money into this. This builds up your email list instantly. I didn't get into that this much this time because we're already at 20 minutes. I did not intend for this video to go that long, but tune back in a couple of days because I will show you how you can do a very attractive AI generated landing page really quickly to drive your office to it. And it works perfectly for a platform like this. I say Traffic Desk is an excellent um, testing platform. And if you have success on it, by all means, keep on putting money into it to see if you can get these leads into your email list because the, the serious ones will opt in. And if you do a good enough job on your landing page, they'll be intrigued enough to hit you with that email address. And so you can start, you know, building your email campaigns out. That's what it's done for me. I've made sales that way. And if you're interested in using this platform, sorry, I didn't mention this earlier. I was trying to get all this information out to you, but you have to have an invite link in order to use this platform. You can't just go to, you can try, you can't just go to Traffic Exist and sign up. So to that end, I will have a link to this platform and in this video, test it out. Um, you control how much you want to spend and you can get the feedback instantly, decide if a product is worth you putting more time and effort into. I think this is a great platform to check out new offers. So I'll wrap it up there, people. Like I said, check back in a couple of days. I'll walk you through my method of product selection, my method of building a quick, very nice AI website to get you set up. You can be set up using this platform within 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how you know good you are with doing a landing page, but it's super easy. So check back. Thank you for spending time with the Tech Agitator, and um, I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>